I'm rarely speechless. <laughs> and uh, my uh, eldest son said today that, Mom, you got your voice back. <laughs> but uh, rest assured, I'm not going to have a long speech. <clears throat> Honorable Benoit, uh, Madame Pedosha, uh, Her Excellency Madame Pedoshati, Mr. Arian Hoka, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Conchi, members of Friends of Albania, family and friends, Bismillah Rahman Rahim. To be given this award in the heart of my beloved Canada. I think I have the wrong, one moment, please. Uh, I would like to start by thanking the parliamentary uh, <clears throat> chairman, Mr. Ben, and group of Albanian Canadian friends of Albania, Mr. Ben Leo Benoit, for holding the ceremony at the Parliament. I would like to thank their excellencies, former Ambassador Pesniconci and current Ambassador Elida Petoshati, for their unyielding efforts and support in making this award possible. Thank you to the Albanian President, Mr. Boyan Nishani, and the government for recognizing this commitment to the Albanian community and representing Albanian culture to the larger community by Albanians in Canada. To be given this award in the heart of my beloved Canada at the Canadian Parliament makes me humble, proud to be the daughter of both Albania and Canada. It is a great honor, and I accept it with much gratitude. I returned to Halifax for my niece's gradu Nora's graduation. While, while there, I visited Pier 21. It was there that on March 31st, 1952, that I arrived as a child with my parents and my late sister, Nuturin. I returned as a grandmother. 62 years later. It was a very emotional visit. I was once again the refugee child, that refugee child, looking up at my parents and sister on the dock. My childhood as a refugee taught me the kindness of strangers who cared for others, taught me that we are one in humanity and God taught me that it was my moral obligation to be on the giving end, which living in this great country made it possible to do so. I would like, also like to say that this award is a tribute to all Albanians, especially to my parents and the early pioneers of the North American Albanian communities. I am their legacy. I stand on their shoulders. They are the heroes, our role models. For whatever reason, they immigrated to Canada, United States, they never lost their identity as Albanians. They were honorable citizens of their adopted country and contributed greatly to its well-being. They preserved the Albanian language, traditions, and cultures, values. They built Albanian churches, mosques, monasteries, schools, supporting one, an one another with the fundraising in building <coughs> institutions. Founded two well-known newspapers, Dili and Vatra, which are still published. They held parades for the national holidays of Albania and their adopted country, had annual picnics and other events in celebrating their heritage. But most importantly, they instilled in their children to have pride in being Albanian, not only in words, but by example. That you can be of service of both countries which you belong to. My contribution to the Albanian community, the settlement of the Albanian refugees from Kosovo, and representing the Albanian woman is a very small, it's very, very small in comparison to what these noble men and women have done 
who have laid the foundation for all of us to build on. We thank them for their sacrifices, for their love of their country of birth, that only increased with a longing that never left them, and for serving their adopted country with pride. I humbly accept this a great honor that of my country of birth has bestowed on me on their behalf. Nobody loved Albania more than my late father, that while dying, he wanted to hear Well, forgive me, but it's very emotional. Nine Frashri's poem, Bhaktia and Buxia. It spoke of the Albania that was still in his heart and soul. I thank my parents for their sacrifices and their belief in me to carry on their legacy as an Albanian. I thank my dear husband of 50, I was going to say 75 years. <laughs> 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 You know why? Because it would make me too old. <laughs> of 57 years for being my inspiration and guide in our life's journey. <coughs> Working side by side in our commitment to give back to this wonderful country that has given us a home to belong to, while being of service to all humanity, be it of our fellow Albanians and our fellow Canadians that represent the world. I thank our children for their love, support, and patience especially when they, they find food in the counter, but not touching it because it is a question mark if it really is for them or mom has prepared it for someone else. <laughs> I thank all of you, dear friends, all of your dear friends of the heart for sharing this remarkable day that even to dream was impossible of this honor, let alone to know that it could happen to me. I have included you because you have shared my journey. Your contribution, along with that of my family, has shaped me in the person that I am today. It's not only those who went before us that matter. The Albanian legacy belongs to the youth, for they are our future as represented as Canadian Albanians. <clears throat> I'm going to read, um, uh, which describes this very well, um, an email sent to me by a young man, um, Dr. Muharrem Kyanif. He is a law professor at Windsor University. And uh, I had included him in my uh, invitation list, but unfortunately couldn't come because he couldn't get a ticket, uh, a train ticket to, to come uh, this Thursday. Okay, I think it is here. Ah, I found it. <laughs> Um, dear Zonia uh, he he's a grandson of a dear, dear friend uh, late, uh, uh, who has died many years ago, but uh, he's also the namesake of this grandfather, whom we all love very much, and um, he will never be forgotten. Dear Zonia Shano, this means dear Madam Shano, many thanks for thinking of me as an invited guest to this most special occasion. I did receive the invitation yesterday and hope to make it for the ceremony tomorrow. Regrettably, I was unable to find a train ticket that would get me to Parliament Hill on time. Please know that Bessa, Bessa is his wife, and Yasmin is his daughter, 14 months old. <laughs> uh, please know that Bessa, Yasmin, and I are proud of you, of your steadfast <coughs> efforts to advance the cause of all Albanians. As a father of a young daughter, you are an, an inspiration to her as a strong woman who has not forgotten her roots and are, sh are a shining example to Bessa and I who hope to follow in your footsteps. We hope that we can build on the hard work done by those who came before us and advance the cause of our compatriots as we seek our rightful place among the communities that make up the wonderful mosaic in Canada. We couldn't be happier that you will be receiving this award. We will be supporting you from Windsor. And please know that we will be with you in spirit and cheering for you. Please enjoy this day. Perkyafim, Moharem, Besa, and Yasmin. And I think this speaks 
of what our future generation will be doing. They will be here where I am today, on our shoulders as we, as I am on the shoulders of the immigrants of yesterday. If you will allow me, just, uh, Mr. Conchi, just one second, no more. <laughs> I, uh, I would like to say, uh, today uh, we have, you're all special, remember that. I'm a mother, I can't say one's more special than the other. But uh, we have a very, very special guest who our friendship has gone more than 50 years. And we have shared so much together. We're both Albanian, but she is American Albanian, born in America. But we both have always identified as Albanians. And she's come here for the ceremony uh, from Detroit. Come on, come on, Marion, come on, dear, come on, come on. Okay, yeah. Thank you, Don. It's my pleasure being here. And, um, I'd like, uh, we have someone who has a birthday today. <laughs> Mimi Grobriel, Dr. Mimi Grobriel, who's also uh, uh, the, the present ambassador's petition. Uh, <laughs> Happy birthday, Mimi. <laughs> and Mr. Conchi, I'm finished, believe it or not. <laughs> Thank you so much. With much appreciation.